Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am back with a basket bag DIY. So last week I was pottering about on my lunch break and I stumbled across this basket in, I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name, Sostrine Green? Green? I think they're like a Nordic or a Scandi um, like shop. It's really, really cute and they have some really cheap stuff but they're great for like little crafty things to hack. So I picked up this basket, however, I have transformed it and it is now a bag. So I've turned this, I think it was like 3 euro 40. Um, I got changed out of 4 euro anyway for this little basket. And I am loving the basket trends um, that are everywhere this summer. I even have my old, you might remember my other video where I transformed like a Penny's beach bag and I personalized it. I haven't seen the basket bag trend. Unfortunately, a lot of these basket bags are sold out because they're so popular. So in today's video, I used an old handbag and I turned this little basket bag into a handbag. Landy is also joining me. I think when I talk out loud, she thinks I'm talking to her and she joins in. I am gonna jump straight into the video now and I'm gonna show you how I made this. The longest thing about this DIY is waiting for your glue to dry. You would knock this out in like an hour. Um, waiting for the glue to dry is what takes the longest with this, but have a watch and see how I achieved it. I hope you liked my little basket bag DIY. Perfect afternoon craft. 
I added a little bow which you would have saw in the video. You can use like a clasp or whichever. I used the Gorilla Glue because my basket is a tiny bit stiff trying to open so to make it easier to open I added the bow which just makes it so much easier and also in the video I have some Hessian fabric inside you can use whatever fabric you can even use like an old belt some leather um, and you can make it tidier than what I did mine could could be a bit neater but you don't see it then mine is quite easy then to close I just have to firm it and then it is closed. I have an iPhone 6 but it's the smaller one, it's not the plus. Um, so if you do have a bigger phone, you will have to get a bigger basket because my little basket fits my phone, my card, change, everything you need for a night out or a day out. You will also notice that I use Gorilla Glue for the side straps. This is because, basically see that cabinet behind me? I have used Gorilla Glue to put wood legs on that. See the legs? And they're holding up well. So I was like, if it can hold legs, it's going to hold the hardware in my bag. Because the last thing you want is a strap to come off with all your stuff inside. And you could smash your phone or whatever. So with Gorilla Glue, tiny, tiny amount. And this is rock solid. So these straps are not coming off. I don't know if a glue gun on its own is going to be strong enough for the side. Because generally sometimes you can pick a glue gun, glue off, if that makes sense. Um, so for the hardware and the bits you want to stick on, use that Gorilla Glue. And just bear in mind that Gorilla Glue expands as it dries, so just check on your piece. And if you get anything seeping out, just wipe it away with a cotton bud. Great thing about this DIY is you can use any basket, any strap. You can completely personalise this. My strap is off an old bag from like two years ago. That was just, it's actually for charity. So I had a long strap and then it has two small straps. So I took the long strap and I unpicked the little hardware off. It looks like I have sewn this on, um, but I haven't. You can use an old belt. You can just get as creative as you want. Baskets, um, you'll get like baskets in charity shops. Um, TK Maxx and Home Sense are great for baskets. Um, home decor kind of places and craft shops, you will get cute baskets like this. Or you might even find a basket bag in the likes of pennies and stuff and you just want to put your own stamp on it. So you can change up the straps and just get completely creative. As always, let me know if you give this DIY a try. Come over to Instagram. I can only post one video a week here on YouTube, but I am more active over on Instagram. So you can DM me your little DIYs as well. If you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. And I will be back next week. See you then, everyone.